what is going on everybody it's your boy the lo-fi horror guy man oh man today we have a badass episode uh straight up there's nothing else i can say my man mike gallo from agnostic front uh and just an acclaimed artist you know what i'm saying so uh today we're going to be talking about his artwork we're going to be talking about some of his paintings we're going to be doing something and it's a special episode because my man's going to be doing a live painting right here on the episode mike what's up what's going on How man? how's it going good man thanks for having me holy shit this is so exciting dude i i, I honestly i can't thank you enough for taking the time today bro anytime man hey i'm just gonna See if I can let me put this back a little bit. Hold on a second. Man, that's the space, huh? Yeah, it's a spot, man. All right, sick. So like I, I was just telling wow. everybody watching, so what we're gonna be doing today, uh, you're gonna be you're gonna be doing a live painting session. You're gonna be slapping something out, showing us a little bit of your techniques. I'll have, you know, a couple of questions uh uh, uh j jumping in there. But uh we're gonna concentrate yeah. on your art today, my man. Yeah, man, you know, I I picked a um, a piece to do today is um it's kind of a classic piece I do that um, I can't tell you how many people have actually ordered, which I'm, uh, it's pretty awesome. You know, I got to thank everybody who's supported me doing my thing. And uh, it's a cool thing. It's a New York hardcore flag. Uh, oh, yeah. I, 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 you know, I ask, I ask, so each piece is a unique one. And to your liking, it's usually, I ask everyone, what's your 12 favorite? It doesn't have to be a New York hardcore band, but, you know, your 12 favorite bands, of course, some of them should be hardcore if it's a hardcore piece, you know? Sure. So some people, you know, most people do the New York hardcore bands, and sometimes they'll pick some California bands and influence them as well, which influence me as well, and, you know, I mean, or, or wherever, you know, any, any bands from, for whatever. I say pick your 12 favorite hardcore records, and um, I, put it, I put it on a canvas like this. Oh, shit. That's sick. Okay. So this, this is a commissioned piece that uh huh. somebody ordered and um i'm actually you no know, i think i may pull this back because if i put this down when i'm painting it you're not gonna see it so i may have to um i may have to fold the thing back a little bit or something we'll, we'll, we'll get it going good yeah but, for um, sure yeah. for sure and um i just usually i paint actually i'll show you what the end result will be so this is a, a one that i just finished oh shit that is a bad bad motherfucker there dude <laughs> so, so these are fun Sick. to do and kind of simple, I think it'd be easy to kind of do on the show like this. I'll take you through the process of how I do it. And, um, yeah, we're going to do this thing here, and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with it, man. I'm Hell, sorry. yeah. Brilliant. Awesome. So stoked. Cannot wait, man. That, that's, oh. that's Yeah, don't drop it. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Have you, tra have you trashing your shit on, uh, on live? I can't have you doing that. <laughs> no way. I got to send that out. I should have sent it out already. All right, right. I'll get to that later. Right. Okay. All right. So, uh, you know, just uh, as far as, uh, you know, as far as where did, where did your love for, for the, the, for art and, and the, the graffiti style, you know, where did that all start? You know, uh, um, the funny thing is as a young kid, uh, I was always into music and art for my family. My dad was always into both music and art. I just, I just always enjoyed it as a kid, you know, I loved doing cartoon characters and all sorts of stuff. And then my neighbor who lived across the street from me, he was a graffiti artist, you know, and he start, he showed me all the Star Wars movies and all those. And I just, I, I, one moment I remember, um, I'm sure everybody knows anything about graffiti, knows about um, the writer scene. Yeah, okay. And um, I just remember, like, he had his throw up, big block plus the lead is on the Hollywood side. And I was <laughs> like, yo, there's nothing cooler than that. Nothing like, bigger, yeah. <laughs> cool. I was like, that's amazing. I think. Like, you know, and it really put a different uh, approach on the art game as far as, like, I remember going out. I mean, we all went as far as, like, going into old paint stores. There's a store I used to go into all the time called Pergamon's. And um, oh, okay. I would go in there and steal cans of paint and just, like, it was a high. I can't believe I did that shit. You know, I was a kid. You know? <laughs> right. I could have got right. arrested. But, I mean, whatever. I got away with it. We'd do it all the time. And there were no cameras back then. Right, you know, right. Was, um, <laughs> life was a lot more simpler at that time. You, know? you yeah, play yeah, a lot yeah. of shit, you can't get away with anything anymore. Right. But, you know, and then from that, and then, like, I remember just, you know, grabbing a bag full of paint and just taking our BMX bikes and just, like, going on the parkway and just, like, 
do big throw-ups on the parkway. It was, just, it was a wild time. There was a lot of kids riding back then. I, I can't believe I've never took any pictures of it. We were just so scared. We ended yeah. up like, yo, we're out of here, you know? Right, I don't really right. have much pictures of stuff I did when I was a kid. Do you it see sucked you... anyway, though. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so you know what we were doing. Like, so scared, just doing it quick as possible. I'm like, right. And there was so many writers at that time. Like, you go back, like, a couple days later, someone would be going over it already. Oh, okay. You I know? was going to ask, you ever see any of your stuff, uh, anything recently, or that shit's all, all covered over? It's covered over. I mean, yeah. Damn. Years ago. I'm going back to, like, when I was in high school, which was, like, fucking 20 something years ago, you know? Right, right, right. Okay. But, um, okay. You know, and I always just, I've always had love for graffiti and art and um, all sorts of art pop art, cartoon art. I did a lot of airbrushing as a kid. Uh, all sorts of stuff like that. I just, I just love it. You know, it's a great outlet. You know, so sometimes oh, yeah. you know, especially being in a touring band. Like, I mean, I used to do art as a kid, and then I remember I went to school for advertising art, and I was like, this sucks. I, I didn't like <laughs> it. it was very competitive. It's like I hated school. I'm not a school guy. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know, so I dropped out, and I, I kind of, I, I kind of fell out of love of doing art. You know, I just got really heavy into the music and writing music, and next thing you know, I was an agnostic front, and um. Uh, it was cool because, like, you know, always backstage, I tag up here and there, you know, and then, <laughs> you know, I was always into it, you know, I always, I always loved that shit, you know, my friends would make fun of me, how old are you tagging on the fucking wall? Who knows? <laughs> they would never understand, man, you know? Right, right. You know, some people just think, like, graffiti is just vandalism, and a lot of it is, you know, and there's always that aspect to it, you know, uh, but it's just, it's an exciting culture, you know, I, I yeah, always love yeah. it, you know, and there's so many incredible artists and like spray paint art has evolved like since like yeah, when I was sure. a kid, you know it was just like krylon and rustoleum back then you know like now there's like all these paints that they make special for graffiti and like um the paints are incredible hold on a second yeah for sure okay uh you know there's different caps and all sorts of stuff it's evolved yeah. into like it's insane what some of these muralists do and um shit i'm still trying to Figure out. Figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I mean, with you know, you you mentioned in you know, as far as like you know, people looking at it just for like the illegal aspect of it, or whatever. You know, I mean, if you look into the origins, though, it it was kind of orchestrated to become something to take the dirtier, shittier parts of the city and and decorate it up a little bit, right? Absolutely. You know, to brighten it up and you know, add a little color to you know something that might look dark and gloomy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Totally. I mean, I'm all for that. You know, I, I remember like. I would always hide it from my dad because he was like, he would hate him with graffiti. He's like, these fucking kids right on the walls, you know, we're in the neighborhood. Like, That's why I would like never tag up in my neighborhood, you know? Yeah, yeah. Go outside. And, yeah. Um, okay. You know, I just, you know, like, he, he would kill me if he knew I did that shit as a kid. <laughs> I, mean, I think he knows now, but I don't think he says anything, but like, oh, okay. he always hated on it, you know, and like, he, you know, those people look at it as vandalism. Like, I mean, especially if somebody just throws up a shitty tag, you know? Yeah, kid right, just, right. Like, look like shit, you know. A guy puts up a new restaurant, some some kid tags, some whack shit on it, you know. Like, right, right. I right. get it. You know what I mean? I get it. Believe me. You know what I mean? But like, yeah. I just had a lo I had a love for the culture, the art. And I just I love it all. You know, whether it's you know fucked up or not, you know. Yeah. Do you you have some some inspirations as far as you know like some of the earlier artists that you saw, or even some people that are doing it today? Oh yeah. I mean, you know, guys. I mean, like I said, I mentioned scene. And there's Lee. Um, I don't know why this keeps going dark on me. I don't know. We're alive. It should be good. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, Lee was, you know, there was so many phase two. There was so many writers that were just, like, so and risky. Especially, he's a big influence oh, on yeah. me today. He's sure. an amazing artist. And um, he's incredible. He's He showed me a lot. You know, I spoke with him a lot. He's, he's a friend of mine. He's a great guy. You know, and he's giving me some good tips on how to... Um, actually you know get ahead in the game you know and he's okay like, he's like go for yours you know what i mean just like he's right like, so i'd always just be like you know how do you do this I, he's like man just experiment and he's like i don't know he's, he's he's giving me a lot of good input on stuff and um he's awesome he's an awesome guy great guy Okay, sick. Now, you know, I know with, with graffiti a lot, too, it's all about the personal style. It's all about you and the flair yeah. that you put into it. But, you know, trying it, actually, you know, attempting and doing it is a whole different fucking thing. <laughs> what, are, yeah. what, are, what are basic keys, you know, that you try to keep, you know, in honor of, of the art and the style? You know, I mean, 
you always seem to um, even, even I used to do the same thing with like songwriting, you know, kind of like, uh, which is a cool thing. Like, like let's say I was trying like there's a riff I like that I, inspired me. You know, I go and I try to write a riff like that, and um, you um, you know, you try to learn that riff, and then a lot of times I, my ear wasn't too good at, at first, like with the music. Mm. So I would like try and like learn that riff. And like the same cadence, but it would be totally different because it was like it wasn't exactly like that. And then oh, like right. you know what I mean? So you just take take a little bit from here, a little bit from there, and um you know, try to combine different styles till you get something that you like, you know what I mean? Like as yeah, far as for like, sure. like I feel like like with his bands would be like, Hey, we wanna sound like Madball. You know what I mean? You're gonna just sound like Madball, you know what I mean? You gotta mix it up, you gotta take a little bit of this, you know, a little a little Slayer, a little uh, Carnivore, <laughs> a little Fuck yeah. War Zone. You know what I mean? You got to kind of to make your own. You know, there's nothing wrong with having influence, but straight up fighting. You know, you try to act <laughs> like that, it sucks. It's whack. You know what I mean? You got to be original. You got to you gotta think outside the box sometimes. And really just, uh, you know, you got to really just, you got to do your own thing. You know yeah, what I mean? okay. It's like, you know, and that's what I'm saying. You take a little influence from here, influence from there. You know, you take some of this style, or that style, mix it all, mix it together, and make your own style. You know, it's kind of, you know, okay. everybody's yeah. influenced. Everybody has to be influenced by something. You know. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, you know, and, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll cut this as far as with this question here and then we'll dig into the painting here. Uh, yeah. you know, but I just wanted to ask real quick, you know, with you being a New Yorker and just being surrounded by awesome shit, just all over the place. Do you have particular pieces that have, you know, popped out to you that, you know, just going around the, the city seeing you're like, man, I, I fucking love that one. Yeah. There's, there's one that always stuck. There's a few that always stuck out in my mind, which is why I mentioned these artists. I remember there was a, a Lee piece, and, okay. and, it, and it was a lion, you know? It was like a lion in Lee, and it was like kind of almost like lightning bolt-like type lettering. It just, that that one piece is just like, man, it's, it just always stuck with me, you know? It was like that oh, one. Yeah. Uh, of course, I said, you know, the scene on the Hollywood side. And also, yep. um, scene, scene had so many goddamn cool pieces, you know? And the, <laughs> at the end, another one, it was just said Psycho. I just love the okay. lettering and color, you know, it's just... So if anybody's um, interested, check out those artists, man. You know, they're really, they're on Instagram. You can find them and you can see why they influenced me. You know, like, just incredible stuff, you know, really awesome. Fuck yeah. Like, I can't even hold a candle to, but like, yeah. <laughs> hey, I keep well, trying, you know. You you have your own though. That's the cool thing, you know. I mean, Thank with you. art in particular, though, you know, that's the thing is like, if you just have your own style, you know, sooner sooner or later, I feel like it it shines through. If you just have your own yeah. thing and you're not, you know, just making a complete carbon copy of something. Absolutely, yeah. Like no. I said, you got to think outside the box. That's it, you know. Fuck yeah! All right, all right. So let, let's let's check out this painting. Let's see some of these techniques, oh, well, my man. I mean, you know, so this is basically I showed you. This is uh, a, a collage. I did of all his favorite records. But basically, I just used Mod Podge. It's just kind of like a, um, it's like a glue, you know. And I just put it on the back and just basically put it on. And I, I didn't do this. I, I, I have to do this the night before because it has to dry. Right. Because you can't paint over it. Otherwise, I would do this in front of you guys. But uh, you gotta let it dry. So now I gotta kind of figure out. Hold on, how um, you guys are gonna be able to see me doing this? I may have to move the camera a little bit. So okay, that's, that's cool. cool. So, something like that. Come a little closer. All right, you got. You can see the paint. You can see this here. Ah, right, it works, right? Yep. My head's cut out, but you know what? Hold on a second. Weird. Maybe, maybe let me move this back a little bit. I'm not really good. I'm not really good with technology. As you see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, me no, either, bro. Me either. <laughs> but but uh, the, I mean, the, the thing is, though, is you know, it'll be in 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 continuity with the the uh, beginning of it. So we'll we'll see, you, my man. We'll know it's you, you know. All right, cool. So we'll rock it like that. Maybe um, we'll do it like that. You can see my you can see my jaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so what I do is <laughs> do to create the flag. Um, it's a pretty simple process, pretty simple technique, but um, simplicity sometimes, sometimes I say less is more, you know? Sure. So that always, you know, that was always something I, 
I always like stood by, you know, it's just like, sometimes you put too much into it. It's like, even when like writing a song, you take forever to write it. So you put all this work into the song. The song you'll never play live, you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> right. It's like right. one of those, you know, it's like you put a lot of work in the song you write in the studio, it took you like two minutes to write, biggest hit in the record. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna grab something. <laughs> I got different caps over here and stuff, so sweet. Okay. Doesn't really matter which one to use for this, but now where where uh, where at about you know in your in your uh, your time of working and your time of you know of of spraying? Did you get into using different caps and you know bringing some of that shit into it? I mean, that started getting popular. I mean, I guess around ten years ago and stuff, you know. Okay. Uh, I guess around the time I started getting into it, you know. All right. Maybe I can go down like this and do it. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Yo, get the old bass stance. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Stretch it out. Shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this it's 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 a pretty awesome like what graffiti has evolved to. You know, mm -hmm. the street old street art thing. And, you know, artists like Banksy, who's pretty make pretty much made a lot of things exciting in right. the art world. You know what I mean? Like hidden messages and shit like that, you know? For sure, for sure. Pretty fucking cool, you know? So you just used a brand new canvas with the plastic still on it, right? As the border there? Yeah, that was just a kind of, um, yeah, this is just another canvas that's like, you know, not used. I just, just to, um, so I can make a straight line. Sick. You know All what right. I mean? It's pretty fucking simple. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. a monkey could do that. You know what I mean? <laughs> So, you know what I mean? It's, it's pretty simple. That's what, what's kind of cool is like, you know, anybody could try and do something. Like this. That's why I did this piece because I was just like, you know what? Somebody may want to be able to experiment even if they're not doing art, maybe a little inspired to do something. You start off with something simple, you know? Sure, you sure. You get a little creative in, in, in the process, you know what I mean? You start trying different things, you know? Um, usually I'll let that dry for a couple of minutes. Okay. It dries pretty quick on, on this as well, especially like over the paper, you know, as long as you don't spray too heavy over it. Right. Okay. Uh, so so. If, if I can ask as far as, you know, because like I, myself, I'm not like, you know, like a, a spray artist or anything like that. But yeah. it, it seems like generally it seems like it's a pretty free handed art, you know. Uh, do you yeah. ever have times when you're doing portraits or different things like the stigma piece that you have where you might stencil out something with pencil or like a marker or yeah. anything just to kind of get the facials down? Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I, I mean, I just, you know, I just recently got an iPad. Okay. All and right. that's really kind of helped me with some stuff, you know what I mean? It's really awesome to get stuff down. Because, you know, it's, it's tough, you know, when doing it, you got to, you know, like I say, sometimes less is more. Like, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes you add too much, like, especially with the portraits I try to do. I just try to get, like, the, the dark features out of the eyes and, and the mouth and then, like, the head, and, you know. Yeah. It takes a lot. I'm like the type of artist that it, it, I could it takes me a long time to really get everything down. You know what I mean? Like, like some dudes are just like, they sketch it in two seconds and they right. got a beautiful piece. You know what I mean? <laughs> they take me days, I'm erasing. It takes right. me a while. That's why, you know, but, and, and that's it right now. Like anybody, like, that's another thing is like some people are like, oh, he just does bubble edges and stuff. Like you, you have no idea how hard that stuff actually is. <laughs> you know, so you try it. Right. It's funny, you know, like people just think, oh, he just did, uh, whack you know bubble it is like yeah i want to see you do it like that yeah, yeah it's, that's... it's a lot harder than you think it is man it really is you know for sure especially that... like if you're doing it illegally you know what i mean like <laughs> you're trying to do it as fast as you can before you get caught yeah it's, it's like it's a whole you know what i mean like people think things you know think it's easier than they think you know yeah right yeah but... i mean you see some of those like i've watched some of the documentaries you know like looking into like some of the behind the scenes with the style and like they're bringing out these huge ass like five foot by six foot stencils or even i mean way bigger than that you know and oh it's yeah like, you're pasting totally. all that shit up spraying up it's like oh my god how the fuck are they not getting caught right now i know I, it's, <laughs> it's crazy it's fucking awesome you know yeah, that is crazy it really you know it's just like i, I always love like every now and again i'll go out and um I'll go out and I'll, I'll, I'll do a throw here and there, you know what I mean? But just like, uh -huh. you know, honestly, like I, I'm married with a kid, you know what I mean? Like, I can't be yeah, getting arrested right. these days, so like, I'll run out <laughs> with a quick bag here and there. And sometimes my wife will be like, you do that, you asshole. <laughs> you know, how old are you? You know, <laughs> I can get that. Oh, shit. You know? 
Yeah, that's like, awesome. I that is so funny. Myself, so that's why I try to do it in my town. But like, right, right. A dog's well, got to have like, its bone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they take that kid out of me. You know, I just I can't. Yeah, help. yeah, yeah. Right. That's that's funny as hell. I was yeah. I was gonna ask too, as far as that, you know, like has that that's that's changed things a little bit, you know, since uh, getting a little bit older, having a family, uh, having kids and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that's why it makes it harder to like even. Uh, you know, it, it definitely makes things harder to. Uh, even do touring and even last year we toured so much last year you know yeah 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 like, for sure it's just like you know it, it takes a lot out of you sometimes to be mm-hmm. honest with you. but uh you know well i mean as far what as i like, love to do so yeah for sure for sure you know i was gonna say as far as you know like a, a a pretty a pretty slick alternative is being able to do something like this you know and then uh, on top of having your stuff on things like shirts and, you know, tote bags and shit. I mean, you have tons of merch on your website where you, you know, you could go to a show and see somebody wearing it. And it's like, oh, you know, hey, there's my yeah. stuff right there. You know, shit, I didn't, I, I, I painted something in New York and you might see that. But, you know, you go clear across to the, uh, the, the west side of the States, you know, and it's like, oh, shit. Hey, man, there's my shirt. You know, my, my art's right there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. You know, it's just like. I figured it's a cool company that I use it's called Shopify. Okay. This is where we're at so far. A couple of stripes. All right. Yeah, yeah. We'll get into okay. we'll get into some more fun stuff after I get the stripes and stuff down. You know. Sure. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool because it's like this company called Shopify, and all you got to do is send them the design. They print it and ship it on demand. You know what I mean? Like I ain't got to do anything, so I could be on tour and just oh no money shit off of the design that I made. You know, like this one's pretty cool. Uh, you know, I got a couple other ones, obviously, you've seen. Uh, mm-hmm. It's cool. And it's just like, it doesn't, you, know, you don't have to have, like, you don't have to buy, like, shirts and have, like, 12 um, smalls laying in the corner collecting <laughs> dust and nothing to buy. You know right. what I mean? That costs right. money getting all this stuff, you know? Yeah. So it works out pretty cool, especially for what I do, being away a lot on the road. Uh, it works out great, you know? And then, like, you know, um, you can keep making money off of that one piece that you did, you know? Like, Right. Like a lot, especially when I do stencils and stuff. Like, um, I'll show. In fact, I'll show you some stuff. Like, check this out. Uh, so I made these two pieces for Todd Youth's daughter because she's seen the one that I made for Jimmy. Okay. Um, now you see. That, oh that shit! That is fucking awesome. So that's one. Damn. And then you can take the same stencil and just make it a totally different piece out of it. Just different colors. God damn, that is sick. Like Man. that, you know what I mean? Like it's so sick. And shout yeah. out to Todd to Todd Youth. Yeah, he was one of the greatest, you know. <laughs> Man, wow, that is awesome. He, he was playing peace. the Murphy's Law the first time I seen him play, and that okay. show changed my life forever. Yeah, yeah. So okay. like, Todd was um, a big influence on my life and musically and. You know, he was just such a fucking ripping player. You know what I mean? He's played with Danzig. He's played with everybody. Right, right. So, I mean, even, you know, even recently with Blood Clot, you know, he... Uh, yeah, yeah. God, dude, that album was fucking ripping. Yeah, man. <laughs> fucking Todd was no joke. The guy yeah. could write great music. He could play that guitar like like no one else, man. He, it's real. For sure. The shame that he's not with us anymore. It's yeah, really, yeah uh, absolutely. Sad. Well, that's, uh, that's yeah. really cool that, you know, that you did those those paintings, too. You said that was something for his daughter there? Yeah, I made, I made these two for his daughter. You know, I gave, oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to them, you know. I mean, uh, I think uh, they cool saw shit. Jimmy's piece, and they were just like, wow, it's incredible. You know, can you tell them to make one for us? Oh, sick. And okay. I was just like, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'd love to. You know? Wasn't I too mean, hard thinking on that one, for sure, yeah. No, nah, hell no. You know, Jimmy mm-hmm. asked me, and I was just like, and actually, I'm going to show you another cool thing I made. Sweet. I had a lot of fun with. Let me just spray this one on. Okay. Uh, get this. Now, what do you uh, do with your? Uh, how, how, what's the process as far as making stencils? As far as making stencils, well, you got to draw them up. Number one, that's yep. that. And then what? What I do? Uh, it depends on what I do. I'm trying. Like what I would do is I would do. Uh, I would do them, you know, on the iPad. I'll draw okay. them on the iPad now because it's just it's great. And then sometimes what I'll do is I'll draw it smaller and then I'll print it out and I'll project it 
on the wall, and then I'll basically draw it back onto these each each layer onto here on a piece oh, of paper. Oh shit! Okay. Stuff like this. Yeah. And uh, and then you cut them all out. Which is the annoying process. Yeah, right, <laughs> right, right. I mean, but God, it's the final so result comes out. It's tedious, yeah. and it's like, ah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Right. It so crazy. And, and that's some of the things that, you know, that I hear too, as far as like, you know, with, with friends of mine that are artists and different people, uh -huh. you know, that have shops, you know, where somebody might have something up and it might be a couple hundred bucks and people are like, man, you know, it's, that that's kind of a lot, you know, just for a picture yeah. or whatever, but people don't think about the time and the fucking process of all of this stuff too, that takes, you know, especially for like a custom original piece. Like that's, you know, there's Absolutely. a lot of stuff that goes into it for sure. It's like, and honestly, like, especially when I do stuff and I, and I kind of feel like it's the reason why I do do well as I put so much time into it. You know what I mean? Like I yeah. really, like I'm like a fucking mad scientist. You know? <laughs> and I, I hang out on the wall and then I, I'll smoke a bowl and I'll like, <laughs> like looking at it, like what's wrong with it or what, what does it need or what, you know what I mean? Like, and sometimes I'll just let it sit with me for a couple of days. Sometimes there's pieces I've had that I like actually sat with for like a month. Okay. And finally I'm like, oh, maybe that's what it needs. You know, and the, the yeah. cool thing about paint is you can go over it. Right. So you can always, uh, you make a mistake sometimes you can go over it you know what i mean right, a lot right. of times you can fix it a lot of times you can't yeah <laughs> you get over. right right you okay. know do you have to do a lot uh, of different layers for the for the stencils typically what's up do you have to do a lot of different layers for the stencils typically well it all depends on the piece you do you know what i mean okay. like yeah, as far true. as like you know what you're doing some things uh some things just need more than others you know what i mean yeah. like okay. uh like it really all depends, you know. I, I I like to use a lot of different. I use a lot of stuff like this to make little holes. These, these like little screens with little holes in them. You know what I mean? And yeah, yeah, yeah. Texture and stuff, you know. Sure. Okay. Little stuff Sweet. like that. I, I think I'm gonna experiment a little bit more on this piece here. Okay. Uh just because we're gonna have fun here and we're gonna play around with some techniques and just show you kind of like how my how I do my thing. Hell yeah. Uh, let's uh, okay, make these now. So I'm going to let this dry a little bit more. Now we're going to do the uh, the part with the stars and the New York hardcore symbol. All right. Sick. So let's try to just get this dry. Cause, so I can't tell you how many pieces I actually ruined and had to redo because... I just didn't let it dry long enough, you know? Oh, no. And, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and then you put the stencil on, you put the stencil on over it, over the wet piece, you pull it back up, next thing you know, it rips like... <laughs> oh, I've, God. I've ruined, I've ruined a lot of pieces like that, you know? And then you're just like, ah, You want to just go crazy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, uh, are there a lot of times that you have to completely start over, or is it something that you can, you know, you can patch over and, you know, it still looks good? Most of the times I can, you know what I mean? That's yeah. why I said the beauty of paint sometimes is, you know... But it all depends on the piece. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? So, like, it, you know, it could, um, sometimes mistakes are great, actually. Okay. <laughs> you know? Yeah, like every, yeah I mean, every once in a while, that's good. up, yeah. and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you one of my best mistakes ever. Okay. <laughs> let me just do this, and then, I don't know, then we'll let this dry, and I'll show you a couple of the pieces that I've done and worked on. Okay. Recently that I actually haven't. Uh, I actually haven't put online yet. Oh, okay, sick, sweet. Just because um, I don't know, kind of holding out. I haven't really been posting much since the quarantine. Uh, I've just kind of been. I had to take a little time off. Okay. I feel like my ideas were getting stale, and um. I just had it. Sometimes you got to take a step back. Yeah. You know what I mean? And just be like, come up with new ideas. And uh, I actually have, I actually haven't been collecting any money for the art just because uh, I've been on unemployment. Oh, so I don't okay. So caught out there collecting money. So I just took a step <laughs> back. You know what I mean? I'm like, hey, I'm making 800 bucks a week. Yeah, I've right. I've collecting unemployment in my life and I don't yeah. feel bad about doing it. Yeah, especially right. during insane time like we're living through right now. For sure, for sure. You know what I mean? So like, 
I was like, fuck it, I'll collect the money there, and then I'll just, you know what, I'll start doing pieces, I'll start coming up with new ideas, and I'm so glad that I did that. Oh, yeah. So I'm so happy with some of the new stuff that I've actually done, and it's just been fun, you know, like. Yeah, it's, so, I mean, always an important thing with, with art, keeping it fun, keeping it a good time. Ooh-wee, look at that. So we're getting there, you know what Man, I mean? Man, Okay. It's pretty cool. And like I said, it's pretty goddamn simple. You know what I mean? You just kind of map out where the stripes should be sure. and where everything should be. You know what I mean? Like, and it kind of creates this really cool battered flag type of deal. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. That is so sick. Now with the, with the red there, do you use a specific, uh, like, cause it kind of looks a little bit transparent as opposed to just being a completely flat red. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it, no, is it just a light coat? Yes, exactly. Okay. Put a light All coat right. so you can kind of see through. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I could spray it very heavy and where you won't see anything underneath, but I think it kind of makes it cool like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. So, it's, you know, it keeps it kind of keeps it fun. So, let me show you some other oh, yeah. things we've been working on, and we'll get back into doing All that. All right. You know? uh, this is something I made for Jimmy's birthday. Oh, hold on, man. Sorry. Yeah. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. God, that is sick. A cardboard cutout. Not cardboard. Um, I did this on, um, they call MDF board. Oh, okay. And uh, I glazed it with <laughs> resin. And then there's three <laughs> eyes. Damn. And it's a 3D New York Harco symbol in the cigar. Man, it's so funny solid. Thing. So funny. So I love this. Is how much I love my daughter. She's just so funny and cute. Like, she's like, Daddy, <laughs> how come you put a pizza on there? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's not a pizza. <laughs> like, but you know what? It's right. It almost looks like a pizza, you know? Like, You're like, damn it, it might be a pizza. Shit. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, yeah, maybe he's got um, a pizza on a cigar. I was like, I don't know, whatever you want to think. That is know? funny. I mean, that's the one but, thing uh, with kids is they're going to give you the straight up honest opinion. Uh, they're going to hold so it back. Honest. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the brutal honesty is just like, it's hilarious. I love that it. That is hilarious. God. So this is one thing I've that, done. Uh, man, that's sweet. That's one. I'll put this here. Done. I mean, I've done. Oh shit! This is just an agnostic front cassette. That's safe. Okay. Okay. If you I see me looking closer, it's just because the the image is flipped, so I I have to look at it a little bit closer to see what it says to read it. Do backwards. I have to flip my side? <laughs> No, no, no. Exactly. You're you're good. It's just how it's just how it it's just how it displays on the camera. But when I go back and okay. edit it, I'll flip I'll flip the image for you. Oh, okay. Cool. 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 Yep. All right. So that's another one I did. Uh, Shit, that's awesome. I just did. This is another another custom uh, commission piece I did for somebody. Ooh, damn. I glazed that it. That's sick. I, they have put some gold flake in the resin. Ooh, shit. That is, uh, is that on a record? Yes, that's on a record. It's on a record mounted on a canvas. Damn, that is badass. So I, I've got to I've got to ask because I mean, you know, yeah. what are what are some of the challenges with different types of canvas that you work with? I mean, you have I've seen you work, you know, do stuff on, on sneakers, garage, yeah. garage doors, red cedar yeah. slabs. I mean, straight up fucking yeah. trees like Tell, what what is what are yeah. some of the challenges with these different things? You know what's really cool is um, I, I'm actually trying not trying to get away from. I always work with canvas. Canvas is great. There's all different sizes and mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, <coughs> I, I've been like with, like with this Murphy's Law cutout thing. I want to start getting into more stuff like that and actually making kind of like big signs and um, like more fun stuff like that because it's just there's more work involved. It, it's Canvas is a canvas, you know what I mean? You can, um, you know, stuff like this is just fucking fun. It's, I have such a good Excuse time. Me. No problem. I have such a good time, like, making these things. You know, you break out the jigsaw, you're cutting out the shape, and you sand. Oh, yeah. it. It's really awesome, man. It's, it's a lot of fun. So I've been getting into stuff like that. And I'm looking to just do totally all sorts of different things <coughs> um, as far as art. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, I just want to get into – Oh, look at this. This is another cool thing I did. 
Uh, this is basically just on. This is basically oh, just on a uh, a piece of, I guess, like steel or tin. Okay. You know, like, I don't even know what the hell it is. I just a friend of mine gave me. He's like, yeah, I got the stuff laying around. I was like, yeah, I'll take it. You know, I'll make some more on it. And then it's powder coated. He uh, had a friend friend of ours powder coated, and if you can see, it's got like it's got like gold gold dust. Damn. In it. That is so sick. Oh, my God. Fun stuff. You know what I mean? Just trying to keep it fresh and, uh, you know, just uh, trying to experiment with a bunch of different stuff. It's, Hell, yeah. Now, with awesome. something like that, with the design that you have in the background of it, is that something that, you know, kind of like what you're doing with the flag, how you, you cover up, you know, a certain image? Or do you do the design in the background first and then lay over the image? You know what's funny? A, a lot of artists... Um, they'll do the background first. Okay. Which makes more sense. But I don't do that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, I, that's uh, your thing. That's how that's yeah. how you do it, you know? That's why yeah, I was just you know, wondering as far as you personally. I Because what works for me is as far as, like, I'll put, you know, like, with this, like, like, I'll, like check out this one I did. I posted this one before. Uh yeah, dude. That's so you know, the Bride sick. of Frankenstein. Fuck yes. Uh what I did was I I, I like to get the you know the, the image first mm -hmm. and then I see what works with it best as far as the background. You know what I mean? Like okay. I can't tell how many times I've redid this piece. You know, it's a fun one, but it's just like okay. you know it took me forever to actually finish it you know to get it you know see exactly what it needed you know but right you know, right result, okay I think it's pretty so fun sick one. hell uh, yeah you know so stuff like that let me show you my biggest mistake okay this is, <laughs> okay this is a piece i sold to a friend of mine a good couple of years ago still has not oh man picked the goddamn thing up yet <laughs> every time i see him I'm like when am i getting this piece to you and he's like oh i don't know I'm on tour uh -oh. here. I'm on tour there. So Dude. this is a uh, this is a cool piece on that. What happened with this piece? As you has, can you see the drips? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, when I first when I first glazed this, in fact, you can see um, when I first glazed this piece. If you don't get the glaze right, it doesn't cure and it stays sticky. Kind of oh, like okay. how the bottom still is. <laughs> But um, and it all fucking dripped down to the bottom. Like it was all you can see how it's a little more yellow here. That's from all the resin that just fucking dripped all the way down. Okay. And it was like this for months. I didn't know what to do. And then finally, I was like, let me just try and resin over the whole thing, and it fixed it. So I Damn. saved. It. And it looks fucking cool. Like yeah, that. Was, hell yeah. Ripped, you know, like I couldn't. Figure out how to do that if I tried, you know? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Reality of it, you know? So, God, that's, that's sick, that's man. That's that with this one, you know? Do you have, uh, you know, when, when you're going into pieces, if if uh, you're just feeling like, you know, all else is failing, do you have certain color schemes that are just kind of your go-to where it's like, you know what, I'm going to slap this on here and it's going to look badass? Yeah. You see this color right here? Yeah, it's like a like a teal or something, right? It's yeah, it's it's like the teal. It's it's actually um, the company that makes this color. I mean, all companies make this color, but um, I, Montana paints. They call it surgery. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, I guess it's kind of like the surgeon scrubs. You know what I mean? Like oh, color. right. This right. is just my go-to color. Like I don't know if you ever seen that piece I did in Berlin. Um, um, it was on a garage door. It was like, the, oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yep. the, um, the demon skin, you know? Yeah. I was doing that all day, and I had to go back to the paint store. They thought it was still open, and I wound up getting this color, and that just, like, it's, this is this is the guy. This is this is my guy. That's right? it, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, it, all right. It, no matter what, usually it works with most. Like, oh, yeah, it's like I used it in this one. Um, this is the first cassette tape I did that, I'll actually be releasing prints of this soon. Oh man, that is badass. That rules. So, so sick. But these, this, I love this color scheme. And I actually really, and another color, go to color scheme I use is the one, the agnostic front tape that I showed you. Mm hmm. 
Uh, my daughter made this for me. <laughs> oh my god, beautiful! You gotta hang that up. Yeah, <laughs> I do. I have it hanging up. Hello. This oh, is another okay. so, go to. This is a color scheme I always go to. Okay, sweet. I love the um the ox blood, and the um uh, and the copper. Yeah, Definitely, for sure. Uh, I really like that a lot. It always works for me. So those are, those are like some color schemes I usually go to when like all else fail. Like, all right, this ain't working. Yeah, I go yeah, to yeah, the old, sure. you know. I go okay. to, usually sometimes you gotta just go with what works, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I think that's one thing too with with certain artists is you know on top of a style, a lot of times you'll kind of see. Uh, you know, and not in a knocking manner by any means, but you'll see certain colors or like schemes where it's like, oh, hey, I think, you know, that image looks a little different than what they typically do, but the colors in that is telling me that that might be, you know, something that this cat might do. Absolutely. Without a doubt, you know, and yeah, it's definitely that way with me. I got, you know, I'm, you know, like I said, I, I definitely overuse some of <laughs> the color schemes, you know. Yeah. But well, I mean, sometimes it always works. It works. You know? It works. Like, yeah. One, and one thing is just like, which is cool, is like, uh, I mean, I try to experiment a lot. I try not to do the same shit all the time, mm -hmm. you know. But you know, it's, you know, your style is your style. You know what I mean? So like, sometimes that's not a bad thing. Right. But uh, I'm not into doing the same old shit all the time. You know, I really. It's, you know, I really like to change stuff up. Yeah, for sure. I mean, and, and it shows too, you know, that's the thing I think that shows, you know, with, with your art, as far as, you know, stuff that you have on your page, uh, uh, Gallo Originals is, uh, is, is your website, you know, you've got tons yeah. of stuff where, you know, it, you just, it, it shows through and through, you know, the passion that's behind it. And it's not just some shit that, you know, was quickly like whipped up and tossed off to the side and like, yeah, it's good enough. You know, I mean, you, you, there's a lot of heart behind all your stuff. Thank you, man. I mean, I, I it, it's true. I really, I really put 110 percent into everything I do, even if it's oh, just yeah. something small or just for fun. You know what I mean? Like, I've always been that way. Like, if you're gonna do something, do it. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. I don't half-ass anything. Yeah. <laughs> and, and speaking of Gallo Originals, that was that was just launched this year, right? Um. The website. I had I mean. the website up for a while, but I really didn't. I had a friend of mine help me with the website. Okay. I just am not good with the internet and all that stuff. It's just not my thing. Uh -huh. uh, but she helped me really get it going on, and um, I thank her for that. Um, Sweet. Okay. Yeah. So I just, I mean, I had stuff up on it, but it was just like. She took um, my site and was just like, oh, my God, you're just losing so much money. Like, you really need to do this. You need to do that. And uh, it's been really um, successful since then, you know. And, um, Sweet. Okay. It's pretty awesome. Like I said, that that, um, that website I use, Shopify, is pretty awesome, you know. They, you give them a design. Okay. They put it on. They put it on anything. Pillows, shirts, hoodies, um, tote bags, all sorts of fun things, you know, like. And uh, yeah, the site's been running pretty good. As of, like I said, I haven't advertised much, but soon I'm going to again because we all know that six hundred dollars ran out. Yeah, of the, other <laughs> right. and the lousy one hundred ninety eight dollars they're giving me a week ain't, ain't cutting it, you know. So now I got to yeah. get back to working, you know, and stuff. So right, but uh, okay, you know, but uh, you know, so this is where we're at so far with this. The picture's starting to break up a little bit. I don't know as far as the connections. Oh, yeah? yeah kind of. Uh, it, it might be a connection. Hold on a second. All right. Yeah. Hold on a second. All right. Are we back? Let's see Is that here. better? Yeah, it looks a little bit better. It's still a little blotchy, but it's it's look, yeah. starting to look better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me try and maybe move everything back a little more. I'll move this thing forward or bring it closer to my house. Sometimes I lose a connection because I'm in my shed. But Oh, okay. But the internet's Yeah, there we go. Is that better? Yep. All right, cool. Yep. Generally I don't bug with it, but you know, when we're doing visuals here, I don't want yeah, absolutely. I don't want to fuck up the pitch. <laughs> so that's where we're at right now. Sick. You know? And, Sick. Uh, 
I just got to do two more stripes. Okay. And then basically, uh, most of the, most of this will be done, and then we can start adding some fun textures and start playing around with it. Sweet. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, and, and so earlier this year as well, you had your second annual uh, boots and brushes, correct? Art show. Well, that never happened. Oh, it didn't. No, it never happened because no of um, okay. what's going on in the world today. So. Yeah. Okay. So that was that, that supposed stops. to be like in February? It was. Yeah, February, um, March, I think. It was supposed to be March. It was supposed to okay. be in March. Yeah, it was supposed to be in okay. March. God. And, yeah. Uh, See. You know, I was I was doing research on it and trying to look up with it and everything and you know I saw like the flyers and different things but I couldn't find anything more with it so I was like man it, I I was kind of wondering if something happened with that. Yeah, that, that wonderful oh, shit. thing for COVID that we were all dealing with. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what, fucked up. Now, do you have? I mean, have you had anything as far as you know thinking of like a different way if this whole pandemic shit continues you know to do something uh you know um, may it be online or I, I don't know how it, you know how other options would be but yeah i don't really want to do that yeah you know I, you know like stuff like this is cool it's fun you know what i mean uh, yeah. i could maybe kind of come up with something that may work but i don't know i just can't wait for life to get back to um life again you know yeah like we for record, sure we, 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 we recorded last night at the Bowery Electric. Oh, okay. With the Stigma Band. Yeah, yeah. Gonna, um, they'll be they'll be um, airing it, I believe, Sunday. Oh, sick! Cool. Everybody can check that out. It's yeah, like ten dollars. Yeah. It's like ten dollars to um, to see it. It goes to uh, save the stages events. We didn't take any money sure. as a band. We just did that because we hope that th there'll be some clubs to pay play when um, we saw lifts all over. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So hopefully. So is, you know, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. That's what I was just saying. Hopefully that you know, hopefully things will uh, get back to normal. Yeah, for sure. I don't, really, I don't, I don't see that happening. You know, like with Agnostic Front, we have tours set up for April. Okay. But uh, I don't see that happening. You know? Yeah, I. Yeah, I mean, there's and especially just... the way the way I look at it is like, look, hardcore is basically crowd participation yeah crowd, for sure. know, crowd participation yeah that's what makes the show yeah you know are our kids going to be too scared to uh you know jump on each other and get too close to each other mm -hmm. i don't know i don't yeah. really know it's pretty um it bums me out you know it sucks right I'm right trying to be realistic about it but, yeah, uh, yeah, and it, it, it seems like everything kind of was, you know, is, is starting to lighten up a little bit, and then you know, schools starting again with with kids and everything, and I mean, they're not even doing you know schools now because you know people are coming up sick and shit again, and everything's yeah. going electronic. I, I, are they doing that the same over there or no? Yeah, my wife's okay. teaching from home. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's okay. a teacher. She's that's what that's what she's doing now. She's teaching from home. Okay. So it's fucking crazy. Yeah. But you know, I think that right now maybe that's what we have to do. I don't know. I don't really know anymore. Yeah. I'm so fed up. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody's got their ideas of what they think it is. And... Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, Well, you know, I think the one right. thing, though, oh. that, that, that I can appreciate about what this whole thing has brought is the fact <laughs> of, like, a lot more people getting back to, you know, just, like, specifics of life and just you know like smaller things or just like hey i'm gonna go and i'm gonna pick up you know painting some more and being able to do some things like that or trying some new shit you know just to be able to you know be a little bit more creative and 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 give something you know to the world so uh, i see a lot of that stuff going on and i appreciate that i mean one thing um i mean usually out of stuff out of bad times usually comes good right uh I don't know. Maybe it'll lower the goddamn rents in New York City and shit. Maybe people <laughs> want to live there again. Right. That may be one cool thing that comes of, of this, you know, because I know people. Are, I was in the city last night. It, it was all right. It, it was a little bit deader than I normally would see it. Okay. I mean, there's still people there, you know. Right. But uh, I don't know. I heard a lot of people moving out. Yeah. You know, these little apartments. Yeah. Go? A lot of people uh, don't have the like, money to pay. 
Yeah, it's fucking crazy. You know what I mean? I mean, like, I know there's, like, stores that have, like, restaurants, like, $8,000 a month for God rent. damn. And it's just like, we don't fucking afford that. Right. It's so fucked up. You know what I man, mean? Like, man. it's like, come on, man. You know, give me a fucking break. You know, eat it. It's just, it's, it's too much, you know? Like, you know, I really, they cleaned up the city, which they kind of needed to do, but it just got too out of control. You know right. what I mean? They sucked the culture out of the whole fucking city. Yeah, right. And another thing is, like, you know, I remember, like, being in the city and just seeing so many different individuals mm -hmm. as far as, like, punk rockers and just all sorts of different misfits. Like, <laughs> You know what I mean? But, like, now it's just, like, you just see average people, you know, that look, everyone looks the same. You can tell it's just, like, rich, like, whatever. You know, it's like a punk rocker here and there, but, like, right. you know what I mean? Like, you used to have such a unique look, you know what I mean? Like, different personalities, and everybody's the fucking same. It's just, like, this is whack. You know? <laughs> <laughs> nothing, yeah. cool, nothing cool about it. Yeah, damn. You know that's, what I mean? That sucks. It's just, like, it sucks. Yeah, I... You know, it was my, my wife and I were actually going to be coming uh, this, this summer before all this shit ended up happening. Uh -huh. We we're going to come this month, actually. Uh, I'd, I've never been to New York before. So we were going to come and, you know, come and check out the, the nightlife and different things. And all this shit happened, you know, just yeah. sucked it all away, you know. So, I mean, it really, it, it does, you know, it takes a big toll on a lot of shit. I mean, don't get me wrong. You can go into the city and have a lot of fucking fun. Right. Especially if you've never been there before. Right. You know what I mean? Like. But different but, um, from being around, you know, kind of in a sense saying like the heyday of it. And then now, you know, kind of what it's turned into a little bit. I, I hear that all the time. Totally. It sucks. All right. So we are back. Right. I, I tried something new. It's not working. Okay. So okay. <laughs> second here. <laughs> I right. tried to go up high. So, but it didn't. I'm trying not to move too far from, uh, trying not to move too far too far from the internet connection so okay give me a second here no worry let me see how that works yeah i don't know <laughs> these yeah. are like everyday struggles with me trying to fucking film dude <laughs> all right so i guess this is cool right this is good yep it's good good you guys can awesome. see what i'm doing here now um yep get more into this painting again uh so now what i do i mean this is just a simple star this is stuff like this you could buy online you know stars and shit sure. different yeah. shapes and so i'll just uh get a little light blue that shows up nice on the dark blue okay and you can go loosely with this you know what i mean like it just gives it like you know stars sick it's pretty Very simple cool. you know sure uh but just uh, another detail another little thing to 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 add into it oh yeah Hell so yeah. then i drew this up it's new york new york hardcore sweet symbol it's a little flimsy hold up like this but uh you can see you there know, you go yep drew this up cut this out and then now I'm going to spray this on. I'm going to try to kind of center it. Okay. Uh, here. Kind of about here is the center. And what's cool with a painting like this, it does nothing needs to really be perfect. Right. You know what I mean? It just kind of gives it that. It's not, it's not supposed to be perfect, you know? Yeah, it's the character. Yeah, absolutely. Let me grab a few things here just to hold, hold it down. Okay. Uh, box sorry about that <laughs> you're good man right. as you can see i'm pretty organized <laughs> <laughs> all good skill so i just use like rocks batteries anything to hold the stencil down flat and it doesn't get any oversprays on some things you know right okay i just use rocks and 
my daughter loves these things. I'll spray paint them gold. I'm like, hey, I found some gold. Over here, yeah. you know? <laughs> she loves it. You know? <laughs> Sick. That's awesome. Does she does she help you with any of uh, any of your stuff at all? Nah, she just gets in the no. way. She's fine. You know? <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay. And I don't like spray painting around her. Yeah, yeah. You know, I should be wearing a mask too, yeah, but it's well, pretty open. My studio is pretty opened up, so right. And I'm right. not doing heavy spraying either. Like if I do some heavy spraying, I'll definitely put a mask on. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Uh, all the all the safety precautions, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I got gotcha. you. Know? No worry. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that should be pretty cool. Hold it down there. Uh, let me just get some white paint. Definitely no better therapy than doing art, playing music, you know, like, I can never see myself not doing it, you know, it's like. For sure. Now, how, how long, how long have you been, uh, how long would you say that you've been active in, in painting and, and artwork in total? I mean, well, to be honest with you, I didn't start getting back into it till like about good five years, five years ago, you okay. know, I, I basically I got married and moved to Jersey and I had a different life, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. uh, so I kind of needed something to keep myself busy, you know, uh, my wife loves television and I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> I, hate it. I only watch yeah. it to kind of hang with her sometimes, but I don't, I don't, I don't like television. It's just, it's a waste of fucking time. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. I'd rather try and, uh, make art, try to make some money. Um, be productive, you know what I mean? And write music. Uh, For sure. I'm not into, uh, I'm not into television. Not like a good movie here and there, you know what I mean? Like I love, I, I do love movies, you know? And that, I, I'll go and I'll watch a movie when I'm like, I just don't feel like doing it. Not every night do you feel like doing something, you know? Right. Every now and again, you know, I'll watch a movie. Uh, you know, I mean, I liked old television back in the day, you know? There's a lot of classics, you know, some good funny shit out there. Yeah, but I'm sure. just not sure. really, I'm not, I'm not really a television guy. Yeah, okay. All right. I, I, I avoid it at all costs. Now, for a little while there, you were, you were cutting hair, right? Yeah. You, you were yeah, slapping yeah. some Dapper Dans on motherfuckers. Yeah, you know, that, that was fun, <laughs> you know? That was cool. Okay. And it was, it's another kind of form of art right. as well, you know what I mean? Like, uh. There's an art to doing that shit. Um, mm -hmm. It was cool. Uh, but then I moved to Jersey. I didn't have a license here. And then oh, okay. In between touring, I would I would stay home and watch the baby. Who my wife works when I, when I wasn't on the road. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I stopped. I have a barber chair in my basement. I have a couple of guys that I cut, you know, here and there. Sick. Okay. God damn. So here we go. That's that so far. So sweet. Step by step, you know, it would be fast, but things got to dry, otherwise, you know. Right. I mean, this uh, is real time. It's not a fucking cooking show, man. You can't have yeah. shit sitting in the oven already done. Yeah, ain't kidding. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, no, this, this is this is sweet. It's awesome to see, man. This is fucking awesome. Got a little overspray here, so. Yeah, I so we were, we were, we were talking about New York a little bit ago and I got to ask you, all right, as far as, you know, it's generally something I, I ask in my interviews, uh, a go-to local food staple for you. You know, when I, when I'm coming through New York, where do I have to hit? Definitely some pizzerias. Uh, okay. Lombardi. That's a touchy subject. I got to ask. Yeah. Lombardi's is an amazing oh, okay. place. It's one of the first, okay. it's one of the first, uh, pizzerias in America, I believe. Okay. Thanks. Right. You look it up. I may be wrong, but yeah. I'm with it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it is, actually. It's, okay. it's, it's incredible. Uh, there's also another pizzeria I like on uh, Prince Street. Uh, what the hell is it called now? It just changed. It used to be called Ray's. I used to work there, actually. Oh, okay. And, uh, but now I think it's called Square Pizza or something like that. I don't know. But there are the Sicilian slices are out of control. In fact, I had one yesterday. Okay. Awesome. You go down for just like a slice. The other places you got to sit down and get a whole pie. That's like right. a, a dining experience. Um, 
The other place we always like is a place called Little Frankie's on First and First. Okay. Yeah, Alan B. Spumoni Gardens is amazing. <laughs> Somebody just typed that. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been there in a while. That's in Brooklyn. I don't get okay. to Brooklyn much, but yeah, it's a great pizzeria. That's definitely a good one. Um, Little Frankie's is really good. Uh, you know, man, like, Italian is the only food, you know? Like, <laughs> but uh, if you like sushi, uh, there's a place called Sapporo East, I believe, on 1st and 10th. That's incredible. Really good sushi. If you like that. Uh, oh, yeah. Huh, there's so many places closed down. It's like, you know? Yeah. So you, like, right. totally like these new hipster joints, you know? <laughs> some of them are good, though. Some of them are really good in some of them, I gotta say. But uh, okay. I'm trying to Sweet. think of more off the top of my head. I mean, um, those, those are good. I just, I like asking just because, like, I've gotten guests on here that are from out of the country even. So it's uh -huh. just like, you know, my wife and I like to do some traveling every once in a while. And if yeah. we get to some of these spots, you know, I'd love to, you know, have a little inspiration personally from somebody living there. Yeah, totally. Absolutely. Now I'm going to break this guy out. Um, All right. Just like a little small hole. I can't even tell what the hell it is. Maybe I'll go a little closer. Oh, it's, okay. Like perforated? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Got you. And that's how I look up stuff like this. Put in perforated metal and then you, they get all different size holes with different textures and shit, you know? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'll put it on here and just kind of uh, take like a light green or something. A different color to it, you know? Sure. Do you have some things in your in your your studio there that you know like weren't necessarily uh, 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 meant to be as a stencil initially that you could just got around the house like a piece of fence or some shit like that? Yeah, you know, you know, that's a little funny thing. I'd use like a like a, a, a soup ladle, you know, oh, that okay. had like yeah, little yeah. holes. I'd use something like that. <laughs> I can't okay. find that. I don't know where it is, but like you know, <laughs> that's definitely one that, that that works for me sometimes. Your wife probably brought it in. She's like, God damn it. Now, where is that thing? I don't know where it is. <laughs> oh, shit. That's funny. But, uh, so this just kind of puts a little texture on it and stuff, you know, it just kind of beats it up a little bit more, you know? Hell, yeah. Uh, now, what are you doing with, like, drying times? I know you're kind of just, you know, uh, feeling it out right now, but is it typically kind of something where you'll – throw the stripes on you know with something like this and then leave it set for you know, like five ten minutes or so or yeah usually i mean actually yeah usually five minutes especially like on paper that i mod on here mm -hmm. it um it seems to dry pretty quick on that okay you know but definitely like so if you don't use it you know like i say so it all depends on the humidity it all depends on yeah right you know what i mean there's some various conditions let's you dry a half hour yeah you know and a lot of times i fuck shit up you know i put a step <laughs> over it fucking shit of the come on man you know right, right. especially when you're like almost done with something and you like put that last piece on and it just you, you start you're like oh fuck you rip it up <laughs> like, sometimes you gotta hope that it looks cool or right you just have to start all over again yeah you know? yeah you know this is a fun one you usually throw the boots on it yeah boots, okay well, af yeah. i love it so i'm gonna i like to throw it kind of Put it like right here. Uh, I think it'll be pretty cool there. Doesn't really oh, yeah, matter right. actually. Actually, placement's very important. Okay. Placement is very important as far as like doing little accents here and there. You know, sure. you can put something dead center in the middle, it'll just look like shit. Sometimes like put things off to the side. A lot of times, like that, that clear film paper. Mm -hmm. I would experiment and sometimes put it on there first, and then put it over the painting to see if it looks right or it gets. Just maybe center something or, you know, to kind of try to, you know, because sometimes you can put something on it, it just doesn't work, you know? Yeah, right, right. Okay. But uh, a little technique I'll use. So now we have boots. I mean, it's going to be yeah. subtle, you know, it's not like, you know, it doesn't stand out. So you sick. Know? gives things you know it's fun to look at you can look at this thing for like find so many different little things in it you know what i mean like like the record covers you know like you can see the a at demon in here yeah okay yeah. suckers like the cool uh -huh. guy you know and then here's a gb Little record. biscuits but, yeah yeah you can see like you know the the gun from Ma the mad bull record to set it off Ooh, fuck you know yeah what I mean? okay cool what, like what records did he did uh did they want on that one 
This guy actually, just said. this guy actually, he didn't give me records. He just shot out all his favorite hardcore bands. Oh, okay. Those right. Warzone, Minor Threat, Agnostic Front, Chromex, Gorilla Biscuits, Crumb Suckers, Ludacris, Side by Side, Oof. Carnivore, Sheer Terror. If you can't see, because it's underneath there. Right. Sorry, Bolly. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how it worked out. I didn't play yeah, it right. right. Um, Sick of it all and Mabel are the ones that Hell you yeah. picked out for this. Uh, so, um, so sick. Let's, see, let's play around some other stuff. Okay. Put some um, fun stars on it and stuff. And let's see what else? We got that on the sim. Hold on. Let me look for this because I can't find anything. Where did I put it? I had it over here. Oh, it's over here. It's over here now. All right. I'm just gonna use this like a little star stencil I made, just kind of gives it like. Sweet. All right. Usually so I now... put these in the corner. She looks good. What were you gonna so, say, bud? I want to touch on uh, you know the the designs that you got on your shirt there, the the old the old uh, ultra violence line that you got going. Tell yeah, me yeah. tell me about some of that, my man. You know where well, did, where did that start from? I got to show you this too. Yeah, I actually had that. Ooh, okay. So let's let's talk a little Clockwork Orange, man. Where'd that design come from? Uh, well, I mean, you know, if you know the movie, you know, it's just a pretty fucking, it's an insane fucking movie. Absolutely. It's completely bananas. And like I said, I don't really, I did some movies I love, you know what I mean? Like that's right. one of them that's always, it's just funny. I remember um, when we just, <laughs> my wife's, we just had the baby, you know? Uh -huh. And, uh. She was like, uh, I don't know, a week old, maybe, you know what I mean? Like sleeping next to me. And I had I had the movie on, you know? Uh huh. She's like, Really? You're watching this movie with a newborn baby? <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's bad. She's, she's not know. watching. <laughs> and I was like, Come on. She was like, Really? Oh, she my God. Care. You know, like, the baby was like sleeping, but it was just pretty funny. Though. She's like, Oh, you're going to like, Torture the kid at like <laughs> right, one week right. old, you know. Right. That's funny. It's just such a sick movie, you know. It's really yeah. demented. I love it. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, I I, uh, I I love the work that you have, especially, I mean, you know, with, with my show, a lot of the stuff I, I concentrate on either, you know, hardcore or music in general, and then, you know, uh, guests that are, that are horror related. Uh, uh, yeah. And those were a couple of the first pieces that popped up when I started seeing your stuff. And I'm like, holy shit, you know, and you have the Universal Monsters and The yeah. Shining, you know, so uh, you, you definitely stuff. have some cool ones. Yeah, I mean, I like a lot, I like a lot of the, like my wife, and she probably, you guys probably, get down with this as far as like like she she'll watch the shittiest horror movie just to watch a horror movie you know like some of that, <laughs> that b-rated stuff like rabid grannies or some yeah. wild oh shit, my you know? god rabid grannies <laughs> holy shit that's nuts that uh, yeah i'm actually i'm interviewing uh lloyd kaufman today who oh, who really? directed uh, later on tonight yeah who directed like the toxic avenger and oh, yeah, poultry yeah. guys and, he didn't do that one but trauma oh. put it out a trauma, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, New York, another New York, stuff. dude. Yeah, man, it's awesome shit. Oh yeah, this, this is where we're at with this. Oof, popping. You know, it's fun and simple. Now, normally, pretty much, what else I normally do? I usually throw some like paint drips on it. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. do this little defense. You know, placement on this is kind of important too, as far as like uh, this all. Uh, uh, it all depends. Like, you don't want to get too much, and you know what I mean. Like you don't want to cluster, like cluster it up. You know, so I'm right, gonna... right. There it is. I stop the drip. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's this is this is another thing that I fuck up a lot. I do a lot of these drips. Uh -huh. They don't they don't dry for like a long ass time. Right. And then like, right. they'd be working on the piece and then like you'll just smudge it and be like ah I've ruined pieces like that before. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh trial and error. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, that's that's kind of one of the things that would suck with something like that though, is you already have so much shit going on behind it that it's like, oh fuck, how am I gonna fix this? Usually stuff like this, it doesn't matter. There's so much going on here that like, it's you know you can get away with it. Like yeah, yeah. Now 
Now, what, what size is the canvas here? This is a 16 by 20. Okay, all right. I try to kind of spread them out a little bit. Sure. Let's, uh, let's do one right here. I say that's all you really need with that. Looks pretty battered, you know? Badass. Pretty hard. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's so sick. That's, I mean, it's, it's such a cool thing. I mean, seeing this stuff and seeing the art that you've been coming up with, but then being able to see something live like this come together is, it's really fucking outrageous. So I, I appreciate this so much, man. Yeah, this is fun. This is pretty cool. That's how I figured. I feel like a piece like this, and all I've done so many of these, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, it's pretty cool because it's like a personal piece for people. You know, you pick your right. favorite the hardcore records, you know, you put it on there, and, you know, the New York hardcore flag. It's just, it's personal, you know, people like that stuff, you know, and that's where you got to oh, yeah. connect with your audience and keep them, you know, keep them coming back for more and stuff like that. You know, it's just like, it's just, it's, um, it's fun. It's cool. It's, uh, I don't know, you know, like I said, it's personal and I think people like that stuff, you know, for people sure, like that, you know, and, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely, um, I, I can't tell you how many of these I saw. <laughs> So tons oh of shit! Something <laughs> just falling, you know. <laughs> but, uh, welcome to my life. <laughs> oh god! Oh uh, man! But uh, now, now, do you have you I ever done anything? Can... Have you ever up? done anything for the band as far as like doing like a like a zine or anything? You know, as far as like including your art or having something that shows that's just a, a small little thing. Um, merch wise. You know, I just kind of start, I mean, you know, like, I feel like a lot of my style doesn't, like, fit agnostic front. Sometimes it does, like, but a lot of my stuff's very graffiti-esque, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I, I've always, there's a couple of things that I've, I've been working on, and I, I want to do, like, a couple of t-shirts and stuff that I'd like to work on. I, I, I gave Roger layout of our new record that he actually liked, but he was like, you know, honestly, he goes, I feel like it's very artsy. Mm -hmm. He goes, I think, like, our record, like, we used um, George Taggart, who did the Code for Alarm record. Oh, and yeah. It fits so well. With, and he's an incredible artist, you know, like. Right. So it's like, we went with that, you know what I mean? But yeah, I, I, sure. I had my whole layout. Um, I had a whole layout kind of done. Not done, but, like, certain little parts. And it, it was really cool, but I, I totally agree with him as far as, uh, you know, the feel of the record. It just didn't fit, you know what I mean? Okay. So. But yeah, I'll definitely probably do some stuff. Hey, I'm gonna do some designs. I, I'll work. I'm gonna work with my merch guy, and you know, now that now we got the time, you know, I'd, I'd like to come up with something. Um, I expect like the next one. The next one of these I'm gonna be doing. I got a whole bunch of things I'm doing, but I want to do you know like this one. I um I'm gonna do an a you know AF AF Devil. Hell like, yeah! Style. Yeah, I'm gonna do that next. You know, that'll be fun. Sick. That'll be pretty cool. Uh. Where where do you reach out for uh, you know for materials like that? Um, this Home Depot Lowe's you know you can get MDF for it. it's cheap and that's another thing it's cheaper than canvas. You know, you oh no shit! Yeah, it's like five dollars wow. for like a piece like this big. You know, it's like it's it's cheaper. I mean, yeah, it's more work okay. that goes into it. You know, right? But right. uh, it's cool. And then I use this resin stuff. Uh, that's a fucking pain in the ass to work with. Uh, I hate it. I love it and I hate it, you know? Yeah. It's great, but if you don't get the mix right, like mistakes like I showed you with the other painting, you know? Yeah. yeah There's yeah. another one I, I ruined. I completely ruined I completely ruined this. I have to pour over it a second time. This oh, is no. dry. It was like stick. <laughs> no. It's tough to work no. with. Um, okay. Yeah, I get a lot of that stuff at Home Depot. Uh, my spray paint, spray paint mostly I get from... I get from um he's he's a writer he writes get get lost a lot he's okay a pretty awesome writer uh and he has like his own little warehouse where he sells spray paint out of and stuff damn sick um, okay yeah something you know, local to you yeah it's a, no it's about like he's in what Newark you know um, oh okay so it's about a half hour from me sure uh, it's kind of like where the airport is in Jersey uh so I go to him because it's like. You go to Blick, you buy like a, a Montana. They, they they carry this brand, Montana. Okay. It's like eight dollars a can. Yeah, it's not you know, cheap. This guy gives it me for like five dollars a can, especially if I buy like a couple hundred dollars worth. 
So it's just so okay. much worth it, you know. Like paint's expensive, but it, it, it makes a difference because if you use cheap paint, I've used cheap paint and just like destroy paint things that you just like you can't use this stuff. It just doesn't work good, you know. What I mean, it sucks. Right. Do you do you have other specific ones other than Montana that you use a lot? Yeah, I really like Cobra. This can okay. Right here. Cobra's a really good brand. Uh, I hate Liquitex. Liquitex sucks. <laughs> Do not, if you do graffiti, don't buy Liquitex paint. I fucking hate it. It drips all over the place. It just sucks. Oh no! I don't, I don't that like sucks. It, you know they make other good paints, like as far as like acrylic paint and stuff like that. But they're they're uh they're spray paint. I don't know. Just they ain't cutting it. You know. Okay. All right. Yeah, that don't feel shit. <laughs> Uh, other materials. What else? You know, I usually use a lot of paint. I, I know what I'm afraid of is a paintbrush. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm afraid of paintbrush. I, do I, you? I, 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 I mean, do that, sometimes. Oh, with some okay. certain things, but I really, I'm not a paintbrush guy. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna ask about that. If that's ever something that you that you toy with, or you try, or just spray is your your thing. Yeah, I mean, there's certain things with certain pieces. You know, like on a Frankenstein piece, like there's certain little parts, like. That I, I that, that I could think on his like shirt that I might have just it was just easy to to do with the brush, uh, like simple, just kind of like I don't know. I I I mean I use it for some stuff, but um, I think I want to start digging into it a little bit more. You know what I mean? But but the thing is like the thing this is how my my you can see my style. Is it yeah. Cool? yeah. That's why my things look the way they do. It's because you know I mean I take stupid annoying steps that take 10 times longer <laughs> and you could just draw it off like, why don't you, some artists like why don't you just do that and I'm like well it ain't gonna look like that it's not gonna be that yeah yeah so that's you know sometimes that um that's you know that's what gives gives it the style you know um so sick this is pretty much done besides what else do i got to do um i gotta sign it i gotta okay. sign it um and then i gotta i gotta outline it actually um, oh okay which is really kind of boring to watch. I mean, I can do it now, but that's basically how I create this piece. You know what I mean? Like this, you know, finished one. Obviously, I showed you earlier. You know, you can see the outline. It's just, it just pops out a little bit more with the outline. I'll outline the letters here. Sometimes I'll just outline the flag just to kind of, so you can see it. You know what I mean? So sick. Hell yeah. Um, I, I wanted to ask as far as, you know, with, with your site, you have, uh, there's an option to do original pieces for people as far as, you know, like customized, like commissions. Uh, yes. what are, what are typical, you know, just like starting points for if somebody's approaching you and saying, Hey, I would like this. What are, you know, what are some things that you like, uh, for somebody to have on hand as far as like, do you do, uh, you know, like a half down as far as like the total payment or, you know, certain ideas do you want details with? Yeah, depending on who it is, um, I normally like to ask for um, like a little down payment, you know what I mean, to kind of get it started. Right. Uh, commission, depending on who it is. If I know the person, I won't, but um, I, I normally like a down payment because, you know, it's just it's just better business like that, you know what I mean? Sure. Like, you know, sometimes, well, like, you know, a lot of people like, like so, so one dude ordered, uh, ordered something, he's like, I'm a kung fu guy. I grew up in the New York hardcore scene, and I was from Brooklyn. I want the Brooklyn Bridge. So I kind of, um, if you go on my site, on my Instagram page, you can probably see what I did. And it's pretty cool. Yeah. I did, like, all old-school New York subway maps. Oh, I did that shit. Like, I, like, I did the records. And yeah, I, okay. Like, the Brooklyn Bridge. And then I did kind of, like, almost like, you know, like Batman with, like, the, the light. Yeah. You know, and then I put the yeah. Kung Fu guy in the middle. <laughs> Damn, that's he, he sick. fucking loved it. You know, it came out really cool. It came out really cool. And then, like, I had a friend of mine who um, I forgot where they got married. Maybe they got they, they got married in the Brooklyn Bridge too. And I did a Brooklyn Bridge, um, and I did um, just like a portrait of them, and I think their dog. It's like personal stuff, you know. It's, it's cool, people, you know. People, oh yeah, people like stuff like that, you know. So I, I oh, love yeah. doing commission work. Uh, it's challenging. Yeah, right. It's challenging right. to kind of create that, um, and you know, try to. Uh, oh yeah, that, that's 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 Kathy. Yeah, she was. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's a friend of mine. Her, uh, they're great people. Uh, we love Beautiful. them very much. Uh, and I did that piece for them. Okay. 
I mean, because it's personal. I mean, you know, like it's just, but it's hard to capture everything, you know, to really, uh, it, it's, it's challenging, which is fun. It's awesome, you know, and it, it definitely takes you to another level on doing the art thing, you know, and it's just, um, it's just fun. Right. Okay. You know, and and it, it makes, it makes people happy, which makes me happy. You know what I mean? It's, you know, I'm not just doing this for me. I mean, I am, but it also, you know, I like to make other people happy too. You know what I mean? So yeah, it, so, it's so a piece of a, of a, of a lot bigger picture, if you will. Yeah, absolutely. Totally. Hell yeah. All right. Well, look, yeah. man, I've got one finale question. That's going to be a okay. hypothetical fun, fun question for you. But if, uh, right. if you want to take this time, my man, you know, just kind of pitch to everybody what you have going on and uh, what's, what's new with you. This is your opportunity, Mike. Well, yeah, man. Um, as far as the band goes, um, I'm going to push that. We just did a new record called Get Loud. Oh, yeah. It's pretty thrashy and there's a lot of great songs on it. And um, it just sucks because we didn't get a chance to tour for it. You know what I mean? Like right. we pretty much put it out late last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did one tour and we didn't really get to play many songs off of it. It was just like we weren't like the headlining act. So uh, we didn't get to play as many songs as we'd like. So we didn't... Uh, actually get to promote the record you know we're kind of hoping that um we can start pushing that record more it's a really great one we got like four videos up for it to check mm -hmm. out on the site i'll be posting some of them as well uh so that's definitely one thing you know uh there's also the golf ball there's a hardcore um you know i don't know if you've seen that yeah it's pretty um pretty awesome documentary done by my friend ian mcfallen hell yeah uh, um, i believe it's still on showtime it might still be on Showtime. Okay, that's where I and, saw it originally. Yeah. yeah. I'm not yeah. sure if it's still on there, but I think it is. Uh, you can see it there. Uh, we have a tour I know we were selling. I think it's released through Bridge Nine Records, I believe. Okay. Yeah, I believe Bridge Nine Records put it out, so you can get that documentary. Uh, and it's awesome. You can even show it to your parents. You know, yeah. It's not, you know, like, it's <laughs> not really, uh, you don't have to be into the music to actually enjoy the movie because it's just really it's a pretty personal story about Vinny and roger and uh mm -hmm. it's just well done i mean i mean showtime picked it up I mean, hell not, yeah that's some bullshit yeah. you know yeah i'm not just trying to sell it because it's my band but you know it's pretty fucking awesome it's really it's great you know yeah. so we got that uh yeah. what else we got going on um you know i got my website you can check it out um it's you can click the link in my bio i'll take you right to my web store i got tons of um fun stuff that I've created on uh, t-shirts and pillows and hoodies and hats and tote bags and just fun stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, um, so you can check that out. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, I have a lot of new stuff I'm going to be doing. Uh, once now that I got this, my studio together here now, uh, I've been building during the whole quarantine. It's pretty much done. Um, it's, it's workable now. I'm just finishing up the doors and the windows but, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing some big stuff coming up soon, like doing some furniture and um, a lot more cool, fun stuff like the Murphy's Law thing I did and just stuff like that, you know, and just keep, you know, I don't know, maybe we'll all home now. There's nothing else to do. I'm not writing a new record. <laughs> <laughs> dude i uh, that'd be so sick you know i i have to i have to mention you know as a little bit of a spoiler i'm actually i'm gonna be having ian on in uh on the show in a couple months here oh cool so Thanks, yeah man. it's that yeah. that uh that documentary is fucking awesome i absolutely love that and then uh the one that drew stone did as well you know that covers uh some of Ag agnostic front with the new york uh oh, yeah. new york hardcore super oh, super solid yeah the chronicles of, of, yeah. of uh hardcore there uh Super solid, you know, documentaries, both of them. I mean, I could not agree anymore, but The Godfather is a hardcore for sure. Ian did an absolutely great job with that. And uh, oh, yeah. super sweet, you know, behind the scenes look at, uh, at your guys' band. Yeah, totally. It's really great. You know, it's great that all these guys are doing these things to capture what, capture our scene, you know, and everything that we've done. And um, something, you know, it's like nothing that kills me. It's like we worked, especially the past two years, we worked so hard with the band. Yeah. You know, we're no, we're no spring chickens, you know what I mean? Like, we're not, we're <laughs> like dogs. We've yeah. worked so hard for these past two years. And it's just like, fuck, man, you know what I mean? Like, it was just like, kind of got like a nice buzz again with the band. And it was like, it was promising. And then this fucking shit will hit, you know? So yeah. I don't know, maybe we'll come back stronger. No, that's all we can hope for, you know what I'm saying? Like, what else oh. can we do? 
I, I would think so, man. You know, if, if anything, I think it's just more fans that are sitting at home reading these fucking lyrics and getting ready for the first time they can come and see their favorite bands, man. I hope so, man. Hope Hell so. yeah. I, you know, I think, I think they'll come back. You know, I just, I'm not sure how the crowd participation is going to be, but we'll see what happens. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, there's a lot of shit, you know, that it's kind of like, I don't know. Everybody's like, oh, the world will be a vaccine. And it'll all go away after the vaccine. Man. I don't know, you know. We'll see. Who knows? <laughs> I don't fucking know. I'm still over everybody's opinion. Right, right. Nobody has any real fucking facts. Yeah, yeah. And the whole unknown is just what's the most annoying part of all of this, you know what I mean? Right, like, right. We don't Seeing know. Seeing when the end's going to be. Yeah, you know. It's just like I see all – this morning I went to go pick up some stuff for my daughter's birthday. I see Models went out of business, you know? Oh but, no! You know, you know models. You know the I've yeah, I've, I've heard of it. Yeah, you yeah. Know, like you know that out of business. I don't know if that they're out of business, but that store, the store you know, restaurants everywhere. You know, right? But I don't know. All I can say is people try to um, try to stay positive. You know, this is uh, not the first time that we've been through something like this. You know, and um, you know, like a hundred years ago, we had the Spanish flu. Yeah, you know, right. Without right. fucking more people than I think COVID had. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, I. We'll get through this, you know. Um, we'll see. We're just going to have to fucking take life day by day, and uh, that's it. Uh, that's it. Know. That's it, you know. That's it. Just everybody try not to let it get you down, you know what I mean? Like, now is maybe a time where you're not working, you know, maybe try to put effort into bettering your future, and just, you know, maybe now it's a time where you can have the time to actually do that, you know. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to think, take things to another level, do bigger things, more fun stuff, mm -hmm. get more creative, you know, because like I said, I, I had a lot of time to create and um, come up with new ideas. So, you know, sometimes maybe a little downtime may be good. Yeah. You know, try to sure. take advantage of it. That's all you can really do, you know? For sure. Absolutely yeah. agree. Hone in on the craft. It is Felipe. <laughs> hey, yo, Felipe. <laughs> There it is. One of these two. <laughs> all right. So for our finale question, all right, this is a hypothetical, you know, fun little thing that I wanted to toss your way okay. really quick. Yeah. All right. So, you know, I, I kind of wanted to think of something based on, you know, you being involved in the hardcore scene and, and being the artist and, and the work that you do. So let's just say that you, you decided that you wanted to come up with a comic book, right? That you wanted to write and illustrate. Yeah. All right. So in this comic, you're going to have five characters in it that are anybody from the hardcore scene. All right, and they have to defeat one horror villain from any horror movie ever. What are oh, going to wow. be the five characters in this in this comic, and what's the horror villain that they got to defeat to to continue <laughs> their tour? Well, I mean, it's got to be Vinny Stigma. I okay, mean, Stigma. He's, he's the biggest fucking character <laughs> um, in real life. Yeah, I don't even know if he is in real life. He's just like <laughs> he's like this cartoon character that's like. But in the real life setting, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, right. And, um, you know, him, Jimmy G from Murphy's Law. Gestapo. Is another one. Uh, he's another character. Um, there's, there's so many. Uh, I mean, Blood Clot, he's another fucking character. Oh, yeah, okay. He's nuts. You know, you can't, you know, he's definitely one of those guys. <laughs> I could see out there fighting the crime or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> uh, uh, who else? Hoya. Hoya? Okay. Hoya from Manbook. He'll keep you fucking, he'll keep you entertained. You know, Hoya's got one of the best <laughs> personalities, you know. He's funny. Oh, yeah. He's real. He's, Hoya, Hoya's a good one, you know. Uh, yep. Love the it. fifth guy. Who's going to be the fifth guy? Oh, who could be the fifth guy? I don't know. Ah, oh, trying to think. There's so many characters. How about we throw my brother in there? Just because he's out of his fucking mind. <laughs> you know, he's great. You know, he's sick of it all. He's a good one. You know, five, you know? five. We got yeah. That, that's the five. We'll go with. We'll go with that. What's the What's the horror villain that we got to defeat, my man? The Joker. Ooh. Okay. All right. Yeah. Did Have you seen? Did you see the most recent movie with? Uh... I fucking loved it. Dude, it was so good. A lot of people hated on it. I know. You know? I, I, and I'm like, I thought it was pretty fucking hard. It yeah. Was pretty, so, uh, it was sad. It was really sad. Yeah. I definitely wouldn't take my daughter to go see it. You know? <laughs> no, no, no. You yeah, know, like it was right. more of an, an adult movie than for a kid. Yeah, for and sure. I think maybe a lot of people were kind of expecting it. But I don't know, even like, um, 
The Joker was always fucking crazy and always like a hard character. Like Jack Nicholson, like Yeah, for sure. He's a great fucking Joker. Mm -hmm. Uh it's hard to say who's the best one. Right. Because there's been a lot of people that have done a really good job with him. Yeah, Jack Nicholson. Mm -hmm. Um who's the other guy? The guy who passed away. What was his name? Uh Oh boy. Uh Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger. Yeah, there Heath you go. Ledger, Heath Ledger. Right? I thought he was an incredible uh, Joker too. Yeah, yeah. He was he was great. I he you was know it, awesome. with this most recent one that was the thing was that you know it brought it to this whole you know more emotional just like really deep fucked up you know character to where like oh yeah it kind of makes sense why this dude's such a fucking maniac. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, portrayal. I, I enjoyed. It. I fucking really like that movie a lot. You know. Hell yeah. I just so many people are just like hating on it. I'm just like I don't know. Uh, I thought it was pretty yeah, fucked right. up. You yeah. Know? <laughs> that's what I kind of look for in a movie. You know. Beautiful. It was fucked up. Yeah. You know? it, it, that's that's the way it is, man. All right, dude. Look, I I, I appreciate your time. I'm not going to take it yeah, anymore. Yeah. It's been a lot longer than what I even asked. Uh, oh, do you want to show off yeah, that I'm painting just... one more time, my man? Yeah, absolutely. You know. Uh... Bam! There it is. So so sick. I can't I can't wait. I'm gonna have to. I'm I'm gonna get off here and I'm gonna order something from you, my man. I gotta I gotta oh, get something slapped that. together. Thank you, man. I appreciate good talking to you and um. Absolutely. Thank you for everybody who came on and listened and joined in. Thank you. Yep. So I'll have this on uh, for anybody watching that didn't catch the whole thing. I'll have this on YouTube probably within the, the week here. Uh, I'll send oh, cool. you a link as well, and I'll put something up on my page and uh, have that out too. So. Yeah, and I'll post it so we can, you know, everybody can see it. Thank you so, so much, man. You, man. I truly appreciate your time. You got it. Anytime, bro. Lo-Fi Horror Guy, Mike Gallo. You guys take care. Stay safe. He's a lo-fi horror guy. Yeah, he's kind of a guy, but he is so lo-fi, lo-fi horror guy. Yeah, baby, baby.